be viewed next week. Okay, so that's you're saying that you won't show me my petitions. We will next week. You right, have, but today I'm here I understand in the office. That. Okay, so fair enough. You won't show me my petitions Correct. today. You'll show me them Monday morning. We will show you them when you call on Monday to set up an appointment. They still well, have I'm, to I would be, like to make an appointment now made, for Monday morning. They have to be prepared for public viewing. There are confidential information on those. Not to me. I'm the one who no, gathered the, the signatures. But the people's voter information. Last four of their socials, driver license numbers, things like that is confidential. That needs to be redacted from public view. No, 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 sir. You can't. You're going to have to show me my petitions un, unaltered. Not on the petitions. Right. On the people so, okay. who signed. No, no, but the unaltered petitions is what mm -hmm. I want to see. Okay, and then you have a notation on the left where you'll mark not valid or wrong address or I need to see those petitions in your notations. Mm -hmm. Okay, the then. The petitions will then, be unaltered. Look, good. It's then the, I would like to check. I would like to go through the process because I'm a journalist and I want to understand mm -hmm. what is the process of checking because you came up with 68 unregistered voters and I, as I said, gathered them myself and mm -hmm. they're people who I know. So yes. if I'm not registered, for example, or someone I know is not registered, that's a red flag. Mm -hmm. And the reason why this is time sensitive and why it's totally improper to be having a giant Christmas party at City Hall during the time frame when you're denying me access to these petitions is because I'm here, they're petitions, they're time sensitive for the reasons that I just mentioned. So we disagree on that, but that's okay. Now the second request was the printout, which mm -hmm. I can show you if you don't know what I'm talking about, if you want to play I have confused. the certificate that has Not you the are certificate. deemed insufficient. No, I want the, spread, the spreadsheet part where it tells you the categories. Mm -hmm. So that you've given me already for me. Yes. I have mine, but I would like it for my fellow candidates so that I may examine those data sets, which are public information. Mm -hmm. So that's why I came down, and I don't want to take you 10 minutes to photocopy them, but that's what I'm here to collect. The certificates and the Not letters. Not the certificates, the spreadsheet. Right. The, the one deficiency spreadsheet. The, the eight and a half by 11 sheet that has the It's not eight and a half by 11. It's eight and a half by 11. That right. has your name, your office, and then the breakdown of the of that. Correct. That has the, in the top left corner, it has your address and your home address and your home phone number attached to it. Oh. Top left corner. Oh, so. Some people might have a mailing address, but for the most people, they put a home address on that top left of that. If we're still talking about the same sheet. I don't think we're talking about the same sheet. Okay. But you must know what sheet I'm talking about. Yes, that's why I think we're talking about the same sheet, and it does have so then, a mailing address then on the top the address. Then th that takes one line to mm -hmm. just do that, if that's necessary. All right. But to address the first point, the you are correct. The voter petitions do not get sensitive information aside from a person's name, birth date, and signature. But when we look up a this a, document. It doesn't have my address on it. Oh, that is not the same document you and I are right. talking so about. This is what I want to see. Okay. The petition statistics report. I will see about that one. But right. to address the first point, the petitions do not have sensitive information on them aside from a name, birthday, and signature. But when we deem someone invalid, we do print out their voter registration. That does have in sensitive information on that. And but that's it's what, online. That's what, it's online. No, it's not. It's through the county's data voter registration information. But is that not checkable online? No, we have our... So a voter a gatherer cannot mm -hmm. check Eric Previn in the system? No. You can look so up So how am I supposed to... How is a candidate supposed to evaluate You can look them up based on the name and the number, but it will only tell you yes or no. We have the much more detailed printout that says what address they're registered under, if they're registered in the, in the city, if they're registered in the county, Riverside County, so you can tell if someone's registered based on their address and their birthday, but we have a breakdown that says, is, does it match the address they put? So if I put 3758 Reclaw Drive, mm -hmm. but my actual address is 3578 Reclaw Drive. Your registered Drive. address. Right. That is technically deficient, mm -hmm. correct? Technically, but if that were written down, more than likely, because... No, no, but this is why I'm here, mm -hmm. and I appreciate your interest mm -hmm. in city government, okay? Because... Technically, there's all sorts of technicalities yeah. that, as you may or may not know, and neither of us are lawyers, so let's make this very short, intent, intent. is the law. That's right. What I so if somebody put say. 3578 or mm -hmm. 3758, okay, so I appreciate that you and I agree on that, but you didn't look at my signatures. No. Right. And we don't know who looked at my signatures. Yes, we do. Well, I don't know. Okay. Okay. You want to tell me? No. 
Okay, I appreciate that. So somebody looked at my signatures, mm -hmm. and I was told that it might be three people. Hey, Tom. Mm -hmm. This is the, uh, yes, Tom, the chief the guy. Yes, petitions right. administrator. Yeah. yeah. So you understand what I'm asking for? I think we just clarified it's mm -hmm. the petition statistic report for each candidate that I'd like to see. Right. That doesn't have their home address on it, so that's the good news. So I could get those. You don't have to redact anything, because it's just the statistics. We're not providing it to you today. No, no, the statistics, not the, not my, my not my. You petitions. just want. There's a statistic sheet which you've seen. It's no, a one I understand. Page. It says, it says on my case, 68 are not registered. I have my own. Yeah. Correct. I'm not providing you any others. Those are internal documents, and you were not even entitled to have the one you took. Those are internal. How are, we provide it to you in a different form. What form? We provide you a written letter breaking it down. Okay, I would accept that. I would accept that. Yeah. I would accept to look at that. I mean, what okay. I want to see is the statistics. I mean, Tom, obviously the statistics are very interesting. I understand what right. you're saying, and I want to help you, but cool. do you understand also that we have deadlines for all the other candidates who are waiting for their final determination, just like you had to wait? And I'm not going to stop what I'm doing for them to get you this. Well, you don't have to. And Ginny left at 3 o'clock two days ago so people are leaving early and going to do other things that's I'm fine I'm sorry I left too and I had a doctor's no appointment problem. and that's no really problem. again I'm not, not I'm a not, point for you to even I wasn't, talk about no no I'm talking about the the urgency you can talk about the doctor's appointment and the Christmas party I'm talking about the urgency of a candidate okay. who has not been provided sufficient transparency on the deficiencies and a comparison to the other candidates okay. who are also receiving notifications that up to one in three of their signatures are invalid for a melange of reasons that are not substantiated. We just agreed, this character and I, that you know, if you put 3578 or 3758 technically and you always go to intent, but who's doing it? If it was you, there would be no question. But it were, there are people who are not in the room from the public who can see that. So what should be in a perfect world, it would all be done transparently where everybody could see what the issues are so that people would know, you know, that a bunch of voters were dropped from the rolls in February of 2019, but nobody told us that. Nobody told me that. And there are people in Studio City who live in their homes who are registered voters, who I know, who may not be registered now because of that adjustment or for other adjustments that you guys are, apparently you have a different system than the public has to review these details. You actually have access to the county roles. We that's use, a, that's a, yeah. yeah, we don't, is what I'm told. Underst so that's a, understood. Um, so that's, but I'm pointing out that that's why the devil is in the details. And whereas I always, I think we have a decent relationship over the years, I am surprised by this because I did it myself and I know these okay. people. So when you say we're rejecting 198 of your 635 candidates and here's the reasons and there are overlapping mm -hmm. reasons and it's a statistic. I appreciate that, but I don't take it at face value. I need to understand it. That's why immediately upon notification, which is more than a week ago, so I know you guys are super busy, but it should not take so long to find the time to explain and show so that I can, because people like me put in checks. We put in people who we know that they're registered so that we can see that you're not invalidating, for example. I mean, a, n many of your candidates are not coming back to review this stuff. They just don't and care. And many of them are. Yeah. Good. Well, good. They should because it's and highly. They're all coming. It's obviously next a defect. Week. As the petition man, I don't know what kind of, you know, education or efforts you try to do to make it so that we don't see numbers like one in three or one in two signatures being invalid from candidates or circulators. There are also circulators who are wondering because they ch they claim they checked in the system mm -hmm. that they know. I don't know what system that is. I don't know either. Well, that's my point. This should not be mysterious. It should not be that only you guys know who the real voters are. And we are forced to get double the number to make sure that, I mean, it's, it's a short time frame. Again, I don't want to debate the merits of my of disappointment with the process. What I want to do is get access to the statistics immediately, not with any delay. And I'm here for that reason. I'll explain why. Because the Public Record Act is such that you need a very... Um, good reason to deny uh, a record, if it's a public record, to an individual who is in the office willing to wait. And that's me, unfortunately. Because in this case, it is time sensitive. I'm not going to make the arguments about why it's time sensitive and why I'm upset that I told Ginny not to announce this until we could have such a let, connection. Let, let, let me cut to the chase here. As far as me giving you any information today, 
you have been told this and I'm going to repeat it. We will not be providing anything to you today. We will do it next week. What, what is we the have time? work to complete. And I'm not going to stop my process to complete everybody else's petition that's still waiting. How many are pending? Five. Okay. And how many signature reviewers do you have? They're in management review right now, so there's only two of us that are able to do it. Where are the rest of the staff? Not everybody is trained on doing it. There are sections that do the reviews, and those that ever are trained are the ones who are doing it. What does five levels of management mean? I don't know what you're referring to. The review, it was explained to me last time, is okay. five levels of management have reviewed. Oh, five levels of okay. what? What does that mean? Do you know what that means? I can tell you what yeah. a process is. Sure. I tell don't me your, know. That's better. Tell you me know, what maybe it works out to Tell five. me what your process is. So the initial review is done by our petition staff, the first level. Okay. They review it. And then when there are people who are not registered. Um, Do they or, make notations on it? They, they make notations on the petition. The first level stating does. Yes, stating that they can't find it. So it goes to another person and that person searches for the same individual. And if it's not found by the second person, it goes to a third person and is reviewed by a different third person to try to find that individual in the database. Then when that is done, the petition goes to a manager to look over to verify that all the correct documentation has been provided um, to support the reason for the challenge. Right. And if, just for the record, if wrong address has caught my attention or mm -hmm. uh, something like that, mm -hmm. it's a category. Mm -hmm. If Eric Previn <clears throat> is listed with the wrong address mm -hmm. but actually lives there, mm -hmm. is it counted? Say that again. So if I put down 3578 instead oh. of transpose the numbers and somebody caught that or can catch that, will it count? We, chances if it's wrong. are it will, yeah. Okay, but chances are is the part which is very imprecise because if the numbers were small, if it were one or two it's, or three or four, exactly. but when it's yeah. so many that are alleged to be wrong address, it raises a question of how hard are we looking. And that's a, mm -hmm. a you can't control that. Right. You can review what and see that the three people did what they're supposed to do, and you say, well, if they did what they're supposed to do. Nothing is gonna motivate you to go double check on so, a third, let me finish my comment, okay. on a third, if three people in your group have looked, since they're all upstanding, what's to look? And why would you, how would you know that it's transposed? So, well, that, but that's not a not registered challenge. They don't check the address challenge three times. We've got the documentation right there. A not registered means we can't locate. So they don't look for transposed numbers. They just say wrong address. No. Okay, what review are we talking about? Are we talking about a not registered voter or are we talking about an address challenged voter? Well, there are, I've got, 52 address challenges. Okay, voters, so what occurs which is inconceivable. That to me. goes through three reviews. The first level is where they find the discrepancy, they print the documentation to support the discrepancy, and then the second review goes to a manager. And the manager looks at it, looks at the history of address changes and so forth, and tries to find any kind of a relationship between the address that was written and the address that has ever been in the registration record. And when there's no relationship, that stands as a challenge. Okay. And so the public is not allowed to review the records of the relationships, only the clerk. That's correct. Now, when I come back on Monday, per your rules, you will show me, though, 
We can show you will show you, me that information. We can show after you the fact once there. you've made a determination. Well, and well why we can't you show it all to me? Because some of it has to be redacted, like the voter ID numbers, or if they're. What, why would a voter ID number? I mean, I can't do anything with a voter I can't, ID number. I can't answer the. They law go out about to the. That. Well, they go out to the public. The la- sometimes the. I, I understand, and I. But I. But you but can't say we're going to redact. We have a big project to redact numbers that nobody knows what they mean. That's not necessary to redact them. Yes, it is. And we well, have legal wait, advice. I, I can't, okay, I'm okay. not well, going uh, to debate it with you. Fair We're enough, fair on. enough, Tom. But I'm just going to say that I am not debating it with you, but I am challenging this process, as you can, okay. As okay, you can tell. Okay, but I'm not the and, one to challenge Well, it no, but we're discussing it because there's no evidence that you communicate the process to the so public. So I'm going to finish what I was sure. saying is that there's also driver's license numbers that are sometimes on these printouts because the county can accept changes to voter registrations through the DMV. So sometimes the driver's license number winds up on the printout that we're using as our documentation. Likewise, sometimes there's the last four digits of the social security number that appear in this documentation. So therefore- Again, the last four digits of the social security number are the last four for a reason. Okay, we communicate those to all sorts of members. I don't understand why we're redacted. I mean, even if they are in there, I will stipulate. I'm not interested in that. So you could okay. cross it out or, or redact it. But it, it creates a body of well, work. Well, you see, now you're yeah. now. Uh, well, but it creates a body of work that's this, unnecessary. And now it creates but you know all what I'm interested in. Work well, for me. I'm, which of course you're happy to do, and I appreciate that. But that's not really what I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm not interested. To do it, you I'm understand not that I'm not. You understand that I'm here, Eric Previn, uh, not to make work for you. I hope you, we agree on that. I'm here because I am concerned that the 635 Angelinos who signed for me and said I'm this, that, or the other thing mm-hmm. are. Being challenged by 198 of them, so that's mm-hmm. a big number of people who I know. I'm a elected official, mm-hmm. you know, at Studio City Neighborhood Council for three years. I've made this before. I've, you know, so you can you can allege whatever you want that it's factual and it's been hard and fast. But by not showing the details is where the problem is. And your idea that you're all so busy that nobody could possibly show me, I'm not upset. Not I'm not week. upset with you personally. Not, this not week. upset with you personally. But the standing line, it's not this week. They do this every year. Every year they no, do. No, I understand. Every year they do We're the same thing. We're not going to do this. You've got five. Uh, this still active. You want. Five of the eighty or so submissions are still active. Fifty-two. Five of the fifty-two are still active. That mm-hmm. does take some work, but it's yes. not being done by the three of you or me right now. It is. I need to okay. get back to it. Okay. Well, then I appreciate so. your coming out. If you just want to finish telling me about the process, okay. you made it seem like three lower level, not lower level, the, but the, the people who do it, the then people. a manager looks on, and if there's any reason to, but there's never a reason to, but if there were, he would look again, and Sometimes then Sometimes we find an error that staff right. makes. from time to so time, we but it's very it unlikely. to have them amend it and fix it right. so that we have the proper documentation. Right. And do you keep notes of the amendments? Yes. Okay. Mr. Previn, we're not going to show you the petitions today I'm or sorry, tomorrow. I'm sorry, what is your name? My name is Sophia. Sophia. Angiano. Angiano. Okay. Yes, and you're, okay. who are you? I'm the assistant chief. Okay. And who am I talking to? Tom. And I, Sophia is my supervisor. Okay. So I just want to get the relationship. Yes. So, but your name is Tom. Reindel. Right. And we've known each other for, and we met a couple, so when I came in the first time and said, can I see these petitions? I'm very concerned because 635 voters who are, and I, you know, I know that you're um, well seasoned at these terrible numbers of one-third or possibly half of the petitions being invalidated by the city clerk. And I also know that this election is being administrated by the county registrar recorder this time, but the only part that is being retained by the city clerk is the nominating petitions, that that's it. That's all you guys do is this. And so it raises questions why, but again, why wouldn't it just be done at the county like previous years? And I think that the answer is because it's a large amount of work and they're not set up for it. Maybe in future years they will, maybe not. But I don't know the answer. But I do know that my rights to review these petitions are real. And the time sensitivity I've tried to make clear. I've tried to be very specific about why it's time sensitive. And by saying you can call on Monday, how about we meet here Monday at 9 a.m. instead of I call on Monday to get an appointment. And again, it's not my, I'm not accepting this because you have already crossed my cease and desist line by sending out this information as if there's some urgency to Mr. declare me okay. insufficient without showing me how when these are my people. So I, right. you know, Mr. just Previn, like if they were your people. You can come Monday at 9 a.m., yeah. okay? But we're not going to show you anything today or tomorrow. I've got to get Tom Well, what's Tom wrong with back. tomorrow? We're still working on a deadline here. Okay, Tom has to review. He's the only one? I am the manager that reviews all the work. 
Right. So you got some, but you're not reviewing it all day long, are you? Yes. Yes. All yes. Day. During this period, so you, during this, this is all I do. Well, like for example, today, yeah. you start at eight or nine in the morning, and you just look I at start petitions at 7 all day long, right. and I yes. go until whenever we go home. Last right. night it was seven p.m. Okay, and so there are five. That's twenty five hundred entries that still have not been reviewed. So, so again. We, you will not view them. You can go ahead and come in on Monday at 9 a.m., but we will. We are not prepared to sit down with you and go through the petitions with you. That will happen until next week. Right. Okay? And so where are we with the statistic request where you provide? I'm not right. going to provide anything to you today. Well, but why not? I mean, well, you can get them. We don't, Pepper, we don't need him to do we're, it. We're busy with trying to meet our deadlines. Okay. Okay? Um, I'm sorry. I have to good I luck. Have Thank to you excuse so. myself. Yes. Uh, okay. I, I would like a copy of the statistics for each of the candidates who's already been processed. That's not going to happen this week. That's well, not going to happen this it's week. It's public information. We're, we're busy. You can go ahead and file a CPRA, and we have 10 days to respond to No, if I'm here and you have them in custody, you're we, supposed to provide them. We're not going to do you, you can file a CPRA, and we can respond accordingly. Okay? But I'm letting you know we're busy trying to meet our mandated deadline and we have to step away. We will what not. What is be, the deadline? We have to be done by tomorrow at 5 p.m. And we have. And you to, had 52 candidates total. Correct. And there are five remaining. Correct. And those were all submitted on December 4th. I can't tell well, you. They can't be submitted. I, I can't they, tell you from the they top can't of be my submitted head later. when they were submitted. But they but can't again, be submitted after that. No, no, no. That was the, the deadline. deadline. Right. The deadline by 5 so p.m. Absolutely. 4th. So we, we lock the door. Make sure nobody. And else what comes about in. statistics about how many you get during typical elections? Is this a large number, small number compared to previous elections? Again, please put your request in writing, and we'll respond accordingly. Well, but but right those, now we're still working. Aren't those working. readily available statistics? They're not. They're not. Well, how could they not be available? Aren't they online? Mr. Previn, they're not available. We we do have to get back to our mandate. To, re to be done is with there any report by that I can see there's nothing about I can provide prior you elections now. there's nothing you and is I is there and something I, I can request now that's that's from I would, prior I would elections suggest that you do where you so have no I, I get the feeling you don't want the public to really have a look at the process is what that's, I'm that's absolutely that's not absolutely the case the if, case if that were the case we wouldn't allow well, you, you guys would, to come next week why wouldn't you have, what are you talking about why wouldn't you have provided it? it it is time sensitive and the entire team that is obviously not working on the last five so this is a clear um, a description of the kind of behavior that is why they passed the law, the California Public Record Act, because people can say, and you will say, if I wasn't, if it wasn't me, you might say, oh, you'll have to make an appointment 30 days or 60 days or three months, and historically the law would allow an agency to say, we can take as much time as we want, because no. agencies are allowed to do what they want to do. But you're choosing to have a Christmas party at the clerk's office on a day when, in fact, the public has a very strong interest in knowing how this train that you've allowed to move out of the station, even though you were told not to, I told you and I told Ginny not to, politely, I'm not threatening yeah. anybody, you know, mm -hmm. it's an appropriate thing to say, but you didn't want to wait until even the deadline. You wanted to push over my ability to scrutinize the process, which is what you're doing, and you're not allowing me to see how other, because there's two issues for the public. What standard was applied to me is one, the one I'm interested in, and my constituents are interested in. But the, all the other constituents and their signers are interested in, was one standard applied to all of the candidates? So again. And so you say yes, and I say, I hope so. Mr. But I Biden, need to be able to see it. We would want every single one of you to be successful. It would make our job easier. Then I'm not we wouldn't interested have people that in, this is not a upset. conversation that's necessary. Of course you want me to succeed. I'm not suggesting you don't want me to succeed. Oh, so what, what I'm telling where, you Where is, is that coming from? That's not, is that, the, um, it's interesting that you would introduce because that because, idea. Because you're no, no, saying, I'm saying there's no transparency. It's not visible what's happening. So that's not good for the process. If you were, like I said, if you wanted to show the public that you are completely on everybody's side and not, you know, you would, the first thing you would do is get the stuff together and say, let us give, it, give us a minute to get it together and show me. And let me review with my eyes so I could see the, the tests that I put in there for the clerk, the ones that are going to, you know, that I know for sure something and we'll have to see, you know. Yeah. And you also have an obligation to explain how you're doing it because there was a February 2019 law that I think you know uh, that was passed that or that went into effect where they did a big purge of 1.5 million voters. That's the, that's something that you have to bring up with the county. That well, actually has nothing no, to do with us because they're the no, they're the voters. They're, right, they're the custodian. They're the registrar. Well, why are you recorder. doing the nominating petitions if they're the registrar? It's recorder. in you charter. Can't, again. Well, again, it's in charter. 
that's still something that we're it's an election code it's in charter that's what we're that's what our mandate is so what i can tell you right now is we will be transparent right now we have a legal mandate my obligation is that we abide by our legal mandate and complete this process nobody by is tomorrow challenging at 5 legal that you have let me start by saying you have more than enough time witness the fact that you were able to provide on one date a bunch of incumbents way more than five so i don't want to really quibble with a quibbler okay there's no point in pretending that everybody is so big that's not the reason you're denying me you're denying me because you have the right you feel to deny me that's the reason, because we've already spent enough time where you could have like dragged them out and showed me and I would have like, looked them over and seen my thing and I would have been gone, but you don't want to do that. That takes a lot of time. Well, it takes a lot of time why? to go through, through each section, and we just don't have the time to do that. Why does it, how much time does Mr. it take? Mr. Prime Minister, we're... I'm just curious, what, what, how much time is apportioned for each signature review? We can talk about that all... Well, you could just tell me but casually now before About eight minutes per signature. It takes eight, you, you would dedicate approximately eight minutes? Up to, to eight minutes per signature. Up to. So if someone draws a conclusion at that one minute. That is how minute, exhaustive. Or if someone draws a conclusion at 15 seconds, that's fine. But right. if you get up to eight minutes, you have to stop. And no, we don't. We don't, oh, actually. What does up to eight minutes mean? It, that's it, the can, it can take. That's the average. Oh, so in other words, if some guy goes in with 500 signatures, 500 times eight is, how much is that? 450. No, 400. I don't know. Four, yes, it's 40. So it could take half a day to review one petition. Right. One. And as you know, many people filed on the last days, and that is why we get so tied up at the end. Right. But again, it doesn't take that long for me to eyeball them. And that's I why I came down here. And that's why I just want to invoke my rights under the act that you bring them up. Because you've been very nice. You seem to be an up and up person, but you are simply refusing. Here I am. And apparently there's a room full of people working like, you know, but can I see the process? No, you can't. Why not? This is work product. No, I know. But why can't you review the process? I'm without? letting you know that I'm, you're, you're not going to have access to the process today or tomorrow. Again, People that want to come in to view their petitions, mm -hmm. we're having them call Monday morning and make an appointment. I'm being flexible with you and letting you know you can come. You're being at flexible night. with me, or I'm, I'm being flexible with you by coming down I'm here trying to twice work with you. within the last um, week. But I didn't Who's ask being you to flexible? do that. Well, I didn't ask you to do that. No, you didn't ask me to do I that. I told you I to show up on Monday. To, all I asked for was a presentation of my materials, which were took a lot more time than it takes to. Uh, evaluate them eight minutes to get. So that's not going to happen this week, Mr. Previn. It absolutely is not going to happen. Well, you the can constituents come at 9 in Studio City. Okay, I'm just letting you know that the constituents okay. in Studio City in North Hollywood and mm -hmm. Valley Glen, Valley Village, are very confused. They feel they are registered voters. They feel they live where they live. You are saying 198, one in three of the people who I, again, I'm not walking, this is not my first time. So mm -hmm. something is off and I don't know if it has to do you know about the lawsuit that I was talking about the not lawsuit but the I, purge of 1.5 million it completely has to do with the meaning you have models. nothing to say about it but you do know about it I do right but nobody informed for example candidates and I'll just explain briefly older there's, voters there's really people no who point vote, in you explaining no, because is. it has to do with the county no no it absolutely doesn't it, it, have to no, do with no but you us. care Mr. Previn you are you here said you wanted us you want to make it so for example if there was a person who was dropped from the voter roll because they didn't participate in the last two general elections and didn't respond yeah. to the mailing thing, which mm -hmm. I didn't even get, but let's because I vote. But I guess there was a mailing, which you haven't provided me, but I've asked for it under the Public Record Act. You know that, right? But again. So my point is, is that if that person is still the same little old lady with the same dog who's alive, but she didn't vote in the EE -E election or the, you know, non election, right. which unfortunately the numbers, when I know you don't take it personally, you know, yeah. the voting numbers in our community. I mean, again, it's not your fault, so don't, don't be insulted or embarrassing, and everybody laughs. Mm -hmm. How is it possible that so few people participate in our system? Which I know, again, I don't want you to feel like it's a Absolutely, indictment I, I of don't. you or the clerk, okay, because it's don't. not your fault. But it is, you know, something that we all care about. So if that person was dropped through that process, and 68 of my people are apparently unregistered, that's the category. Again, so Mr. let me just Previn. clarify, would that person be disqualified, even if they had been registered, they signed that they live at the same address. So I'm not going to go over scenarios with will you, you because, I don't, because I, we don't have your petition on hand, okay? But will you answer that question? Not at this moment. If at this moment, I'm letting a, you know. It's a hypothetical. You're the division uh, so chief. I'm not, so I'm not going to go over hypotheticals with you right now because But the I assistant have, division chief won't go over a very specific question, which seems reasonable in light of the Judicial Watch thing. 
it's basically if Eric Previn voter didn't vote in two elections, I got dropped because I didn't, I, I admit, I didn't mm -hmm. do the paper, and I signed for my friend, and they look at it, and they say, he's not registered. So a Would manager, that, a manager that actually, like for example, a Tom or somebody else will sit down with you on Monday when you do, so are you... And give so, me the answer so to that let, question, so let, but let you me won't just, answer it now? No. So let me just ask you, are you, going, are you going to come in at 9 a.m. on Monday so I can make a note of that? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I, I'm, I would come in tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. if you finish. If you are going to announce a bunch of them today, I'll come in tomorrow morning. I mean, I am really hot to trot on this because I'm... I need to answer to my people. These are not, again, I know you guys think it's like, oh, cut a check to one of the people you know who you let in the back door, the circulators. This is not something that I've been doing. I don't know these people. I don't have special relationships with those people. I'm a constituent, and I have a lot of people who follow what I do because I'm a critic and I'm a writer, you know, and that's my business. But they sign for me. It's significant. It means something. And you're saying one and three are invalid without explaining is big problem for me. So, okay. so you know, I hope so you So Monday can... at 9 a.m., okay? Monday at 9 a.m., is that when we can expect yeah, you? Yeah, but what I would like to review at that time, to be clear, is my petition. Why don't you put it in writing for me? Because I'm not going to be able to remember it all offhand. Do you want me to bring you my business card so you can email? Yeah, bring me your business card. Okay.